I've got my computer set up here and I'm gonna take you shopping with me. As you know, Black Friday sales are happening right now with the pattern world. There are a few patterns I've been looking at for ages and ages and ages. Some of these brands don't usually have sales and this is probably one of the few they do in the whole year. I am gonna have a lot of fun looking at the patterns and choosing them and why not take you along with me? So. I'm gonna be keeping my face on the corner of the screen and I will be talking to you as I look at the screen also. So it's just not my voice you're hearing. The first site I'm gonna go into is Style Arc. Here we are, when you go into the site, the first thing you see is this thing, 30% off through the 30th, that is Tuesday. So there's still a few days. Look, it tells you to use a code, but from past experience, when you're at checkout, the codes appear there and you just have to click on them to apply. So it's not like you have to type in a code or anything. I think it's really easy. So every month when you go to Style Arc, you'll find that there's two patterns that you can choose from that if you add them onto your car, you won't have to pay for them, you know, when you buy something else. So in this case, Carnegie Woven Dress, this is what I'm going to go for. There's quite a few that have been updated and have multi sizes. Um, so I try to look for those. I love this style. Uh, it's for wovens, which is awesome. And you know I like a V neckline and look at this double princess seam right there, how the skirt flares out a little bit. So nice. At the back it also has that double princess seam. So you know it could be a project that has a lot of seams but totally my style. I like these patterns, they're usually very well made. There's multi-size options, I'm gonna go for that. And on multi-size you can choose from 4 to 16, 10 to 22 or 18 to 30. You, um, this is Australian sizing so I'm gonna go with 10 to 22. These are the patterns that have multi-size options. Okay, this is one that I've been looking at that I'm intrigued with. It does have that bat wing style, but look at this French dart right there. I think that can make a huge difference and the fact that that's there on a knit. Usually with dolmen or bat wing styles, you'd have a lot of excess fabric here. Just because they're taking some of that away in the front, I really like that. So I'm gonna get this pattern. Yeah, I'm not gonna go play polo, <laughs> but I think this style could be a little bit more dressed up if I used a really nice knit. And I like this, I like the collar, the overlap. Yeah, I, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this one as well. Okay, the Clementine woven dress. I like the neckline and I like that it's for woven. I have patterns with square necklines for knit fabrics where you use neckbands and things. I really like a square neckline, I think it's different. It's just not what you usually do. But I don't have one in a woven like this. You can see there's a small armhole dart. I find those harder to work with usually, so I tend to put these over here on the side. It's an adjustment that's really easy to do. I've shown how to do it on the channel. Also, it's easier to do a full bust adjustment if you needed to, if the bust dart is on the side rather than it's if it's on the armhole. I'm not a fan of this low waist and this skirt option here. I would just, if I wanted to make a dress, I would just put the waist at my waist and then add the skirt. That's just personal preference, but I really like this neckline and it's woven and I don't have anything like that in a woven, so that is why I'm interested in that pattern. Okay, this Twiggy Knit Dress multi-size PDF. I like that because it's for knit fabrics and more of a structured type. I think my athletic knits would be really good for this one. And I even like the way they color block this here with the darker tones on the outside. I like that seam above the bust. And look at the back with these buttons and a facing. It's got enough details to make me really like this pattern. For sure, I really like it. And it also comes in multi-sizes. I have been saving up for these sales. So don't think I'm making a mistake here. And remember I do this because I sew for a living. I have a sewing channel. I always love having the patterns there for when I'm inspired to sew them. This is one of my favorites as well that I haven't gotten around to making, the Armadeo dress. I do like it because it's different. It's got that V, but it has a collar coming from there. It has gathers at the waist, which is not typical. The gold skirt, I just like everything about this pattern. So let's go ahead and get this one. Okay, another brand I wanna look at is Dirando. I've only made one pattern from them, which was the Sirocco jumpsuit. And I didn't like the style for myself, but I did like the bodice. <laughs> I liked the instructions, all those things. So I sort of know what I'm after. The passive floor dress I want to have a look at. I think this one is a more involved pattern. It does have a lapel and collar that wraps over with a belt. This collar that wraps over is nice and it's something different. 
I think this one could also be a jacket, I believe. Just depends on how you style it. Yeah, so it can be like a trench coat. I knew I'd seen this picture here. I think it's really versatile. It just depends on the fabric that you use and the option of the length. And I really like it as a jacket like that. On PDF, the sizing's from 34 to 52 European. I figure out I'm gonna be around the 48 here, so it will work for me. But still, I mean, the sizing could be better. So that is one that I really want. This one is one I have looked at for a while also because I like this notch detail there on this end. The sleeve, I don't know how practical it could be to be three quarters. I'm not sure, maybe I would want to slim that sleeve down a little bit, totally possible. But it looks like a really easy pattern to sew up and I also like this back seam with the gathers there. I would make this in a lightweight fabric that's drapey so it could be like a really light layer type jacket to wear so look at the line out here it's pretty simple i'm sure i could slim the sleeves down to just be like a regular sleeve it wouldn't really affect the sleeve cap it would just be towards the bottom of the sleeve and yeah this is this is really nice and i'm actually quite happy to get it because i've been looking at it for ages and then this hoya blouse is also one that i've looked at because of this crossover detail i'm just a sucker for details like this on the neckline and this one also in pdf comes from 34 to 52 european they also sell printed ones but that's that's just not my thing I'm not gonna have things shipped over here it would take months to get here so i'm gonna add that one to the cart let's see next five out of four patterns now they are having a sale that goes on to, until next Tuesday, the 30th, 40% off and everything's already marked down on the site so you don't have to make calculations to see how much things are. So that's good and there are a few that I've been looking at from when they were released and just waiting for them, you know, to be on a, on a big sale. Look, here's the Bridget skirt and dress. This is one that I tested a little while ago, I just made the skirt version but there's a dress version as well. Okay, this is one that was released a little while ago called Irene, and it's really different. It's got this type of tie here at the waist, and you might think, how am I gonna show skin there? But actually, if I'm going to the gym, that would be really nice ventilation. Also, if you wore a cami underneath, you could just cover that up, but I just really like that tie detail, that knot detail on the front. I think it's just really cute. I would make it as a workout top, just make it short sleeves, use an athletic knit, really lightweight, and wear that little knot and go to the gym. This one I've been looking at as well. It's a tank and dress, but look at this crossover here on the back. I do have some sports bras that have this racer back style, so I wouldn't have an issue with bra straps coming this way. And it's just so different, it's just so nice. You know, when you go and, and do exercise, Typically you just wear something really simple, but having something different like this would be really cool. Yeah, on the front it just looks like a regular tank dress, but the details at the back, and it's nice to have details at the back. The Leslie top tunic and dress. This is what I like about this one, this neckline. I think it's really different. It's got a square area there and a little zipper, a small short collar, which I, you could just pull up if you zip it up and it would be really cozy up here. There is a seam under the bust, welt pockets on the front. It's just different. It's just a different type of pullover, something I've never seen before, like a different style. So that's why I like it. I'm gonna add it to my cart. This is one of the few woven dresses that five out of four have in the collection. Uh, most of the patterns are for knits, but I just love this style. The pictures here got me straight away. <laughs> so floaty, these type of flutter sleeves. Um, there's lots of lengths here. I wouldn't make the maxi, but look at this one. This is short. It's very nice, but let's see the line up because that's what really holds the truth. You can see this little placket on the top and you can put like a mandarin collar or bias binding. And then you can do a casing at the waist, which they're always super comfortable styles to wear. And I can just see this in a floaty rayon. I really like this pattern. It's really, really nice. And the size range is really good from extra, extra small to 5X. Goes up to a 61 inch hip. For lightweight woven fabrics, I'm all for that. So let's add that to a cart. When I wanna sew knit pants like this, I want them to be fitted. I don't think knit pants look nice when they're loose, like you would want in a woven. You want some positive ease. I like negative ease and I can see that that is what is happening here. 
So I like this option of having pants and the leggings in the same pattern. I like this side panel right there. I don't know if I, I doubt I'd make it in a contrast fabric though. I'd probably make it in a solid like this. And this could be a great basic pant that you wear for traveling or just to, just to live your life really comfortable. So I'm gonna add that one. And I think those were all the patterns I wanted to grab for now. Those were the ones I'd been looking at. So that is fun. I do have an affiliate link with five out of four patterns. So when I have an affiliate link for any of the brands I mentioned today, I'll leave it in the description box. Maybe you want to have a look. Okay, green style patterns now. There is a few that I've been looking at also. Green Style is also having a Black Friday sale of 35% off till Tuesday the 30th. The flare leggings were just released a few days ago and I would wanted to test this pattern but it, didn't, it wasn't possible. But I really like the style. I think it's a style you could wear every day. Okay, here's the liner and you can see that there's a lot of options. There's a lot of waistband options. Similar to what I sewed with the sundial leggings, this type of crossover V or just a curved waistband with a V or just a regular one or a taller one. <laughs> I think there's a lot of um, rise options because everyone likes to wear their waistbands differently but I like all these options. The pockets also look really cool and they're just going to be really fitted and then just flare out slightly towards the hem which is the type of pant I've usually bought in the past because I didn't right, have the right materials to make them. You know, I like these patterns, they fit me really well. All the leggings I've been making are really, really nice. So I would have no reason to think these are not gonna work for me. Black, super classic. See, this is how I would want my pants to be. I would like to make some in brown, in navy, something really basic that I could just wear a lot. So that is one that I'm going to grab. The other one was also released just a little while ago and it's called Corset Bra and Top. So this is a really cropped version you can see there, but it's not the only option. There's one that reaches the waist. It's just longer and I like the shaping on the bust. I have camis that I wear under clothes sometimes when I'm wearing something fuller at the bottom, like palazzo pants or something like that. And I wear these types of camis under blazers. They're such basic camis. I can't tell you how much I hate them, but they are appropriate for the outfits. And I'd love to make something like this that is lined, that has all this shaping and that looks really, really cool. There's also this one that I've been looking at and these ones have the updated sizing up to M, which is a 63 inch hip. And this pullover, I like it because the zipper is only a quarter. It, it, it's not a long zipper. It's got a collar and this princess seam. That's what I like right there. I like it. Look, it has a two-piece sleeve, what? Okay, so I'm even more interested. And look, sleeveless, <laughs> that is not a hack. Okay, yeah, this is really nice. I really like this. There is one t-shirt that was released that's for men that I really like. It's got raglan sleeves and it's got a full gusset on the side that includes the sleeve and the side seam. It's like one piece down here. There, here you can see the gusset really clearly. The white fabric goes under there and then it includes the sleeve right there. This is a cool pattern. I don't show men's patterns on the channel usually because I don't have models. Like my son and my husband will not let me take pictures of the makes, but I do sew for them. There's also the Motion Athletic Shorts and it's a really basic short with an elasticated waist. Look, I think there's like a yoke piece on the back here's the line art okay so there you can see the slash pockets fake fly you can see this yoke at the back there with a zipper with a pocket I think that's really cool that's what I'm getting from green style have a look at my playlist from green style I have made quite a few patterns and have sewing tutorials for all of them and maybe you want to get one at this Black Friday sale I'll leave all that linked I'm really happy with the ones I'm grabbing now I have already a lot of them in my collection like the sports bras and things Lots of the leggings, I think I own all the leggings patterns and I made quite a few of them and I've been super happy. Okay, paper cut patterns. This is a brand from New Zealand. I've never actually made a pattern from this brand. I think these first couple of patterns have a better size range. The older patterns just go up to a size 20. I've got three patterns to look at. One is a sequence blouse and dress and the discount appears already on the screen. It's 30% off. $9 New Zealand, that's like maybe six US dollars, so the price is really good. And this pattern is for woven, and I like that tie on the side that you can wear this in many ways. You can wrap it up, it's got a wrap at the back, or the front, 
I think it's just a pattern you can wear in many ways. I like how versatile this pattern can look and that it's made for a woven fabric. The Sierra jumpsuit. Now, I am not a jumpsuit person. I just am not a jumpsuit person, but look at the bodice. Look at this crossover, the tie on the side, um, the darts, it just, I love it. So what I would do here is just swap out those pants. I wouldn't sew pants onto that bodice. I would just either draft my own simple skirt to put in there or get a skirt that would work. But I haven't seen this type of bodice on any, any other pattern. So I would get this pattern just for this beautiful bodice. You might like jumpsuits. I, I've tried them, I've like given it a go and it's just not a style that I can wear comfortably or feel myself in. If I go out to the street, I'd be really self-conscious. But yeah, this is, this is really nice. So that's why I want this one. And this other one, Meridian Dress, I like this crossover detail here on the front. I think it's really pretty. I love it. They photographed it with solid so you can see it really well. I like that it's a straight skirt, not voluminous. I would make it shorter for myself. But yeah, that, that crossover detail on the front, this, it, look, I can tell already this is a really fabric hungry pattern just because I know this front piece is gonna be really big and go diagonal that, like that on the fabric. I think the style is so pretty, it's gonna be worth all the fabric it's gonna take. Yeah, that's at the back, a waist seam. Yeah, I really, really like this dress. Jennifer Lauren Handmade. This is a brand I've never sewn either, but there are a few styles that I wanna look at. There are a lot of woven styles here. So the discount here is 30% typing in the code thank you 2021 at checkout and I have already tested it and it does appear but you don't see the discount when you're looking at the website. So there's this Georgie pinafore. She has a lot of pinafores and I don't see them as pinafores, I see them as dresses. So I like the princess seams, I like that detail with the zipper on the front, the pockets on the side, slightly flared skirt. I would not wear it with a garment underneath and the only thing I would adapt, you know, if this armhole was too low is to make it higher so I can see that as a dress not as a pinafore it does have A through F cup sizes from 6 to 34 and I think that's amazing you know I'm a really big fan of cup sizes I think it makes a big big difference in the fit and the princess seams yeah this is really nice I really like this and I've been looking at it for ages but not as a pinafore also the Wheeler wrap coat, I think is a really nice style. It also has princess seams and then a small dart here. I think could give really nice bust shaping. I don't know about the patch pockets on wool. I think that could be a little bit bulky. So I would have to think if I want those. But look at this collar and how you can put the button there and the button there or just wear it open with a belt. Yeah, I just really like it and it's also got sizes 6 to 34 with A through F cup sizes, which is amazing. I love this. Look at this. So pretty. Okay, here is the liner and you can see princess seams at the back, which is amazing. Yeah, this is a pattern definitely worth getting. It doesn't mean I'll make it in wool. I can make it in linen and then it could be my linen coat. Love it. So wheeler wrap coat for sure. Really like it. The Dulce pinafore is also something I see as a dress and not a pinafore. I wouldn't layer it over something. Love the square neckline, love the waist seam, the princess seams. And it, yeah, it's just a really nice style. I think it would be really nice in linen also. Also has a good size range from 6 to 34 and the cup size uh, options. You can see it they layered over a turtleneck. What I would do for me, for myself, is just fix that armhole so it has good cover so I could wear it on its own and of course make it shorter. So the sorrel dress is an older pattern and it has cup sizes A through D. So this one has the older size range from six to 24. It goes up to a hip of 53. So it's still pretty good. Love it, super simple. I love how that neckline just folds over like that. Those little tucks at the waist, they're not that, they're just tucks. Really like it, easy to waist type of sleeve. It's not a sleeve, it's just dropped and hemmed really like it and it's one I've been looking at. Okay, the Aisling blouse. I've looked at this one. Look at this neckline. It's like a square neckline with a collar coming from there and here are the buttons and the bastards. It looks like a pretty simple style. You can also make it just normal without the collar and it looks really pretty. It's got a facing in there, has A through D cup sizes and up to 24. And you can make it just like a square neckline, like a really basic 
nice woven top that could fit really well if you do all the fitting for yourself. Uh, I've noticed that the Aisling blouse and the Asteria dress have the same type of neckline on the top. The difference with the Asteria dress is that it's more fitted and it's a bodice that cuts at the waist. The other one has more ease because it's a sort of a looser top, longer. And then this one has a fuller skirt. Love that neckline, the collar, it's just different. I would make it in a nice flowing fabric so that the pleats are not so voluminous like this. So those are the ones I'm getting from Jennifer Lauren and I'm really excited to get them 30% off. Forget me not patterns. She has the April dress that I want to have a look at. And the April dress, I saw this on Kira from Island Socialist. She was a tester. And there are two options here. One that has, they all have this like curved seam right there and you can either put in a gathered skirt or just a regular skirt. This is the one. So look at this, so different. <laughs> I would color block, I would do a darker color on the bottom and a light, lighter color on the top or I would make both colors really bright like navy and red or something like that. I've been looking at this pattern for ages. So that is the one that has the gathered skirt. I think there are pockets in this curve. This is not the option I'm interested in. It's the regular one, this one, that one. And if you see that there's a belt here this Gemma belt is a free pattern on her site as well. I think it's really cute. I would love to make a few of those in linen maybe. And then there's this iris, iris pleated tee. Look, it looks like a t-shirt, but this sleeve, like tell me that is not beautiful. It's so different. I'd love to have a t-shirt with that. And the long sleeve also has a pleated detail right here. Now the Valerie Raglan dress, this is a Raglan dress. This is why I like it, because it's for wovens and it's got a Raglan sleeve. Look at this seam right there. She's done a few piping details to highlight it. Look at this vent with a cuff and pleats or gathers there on the sleeve. Love that. Slash pocket, she also has some piping there. Here on the liner, you can see a little bit more. I would just sew a regular sleeve. I wouldn't put the flutter there has a shoulder dart there which is amazing it's always going to give you that nice curve there i think you can't get away with not having a shoulder dart on a raglan sleeve for woven even for knits it would be helpful sometimes look at all these dots all these dots means you can get a really good fit right there slant pockets there yeah i like it love it i love a dotted style i love a raglan sleeve and it's only one pattern usually not what you see Look, that's at the back, waist seam right there. And then if you haven't gotten this one yet, the Vera Knit Top, it is a free PDF pattern. Okay, here's the liner. V-neck line, V-neck band, love that. Nice little cuff detail there. It's a really nice knit top that is great for free. Why not? It's got a lot of sleeve options. Now, Pattern Emporium, they do a big sale for Boxing Day. That's the day after Christmas. It's, a, it's like an Australian, New Zealand thing. I'm, I'm sure Boxing Day isn't celebrated everywhere, but I was used to going to the malls in New Zealand the day after Christmas, and it was madness. Anyway, that's when Pattern Emporium has their big 30% off sale site-wide and all, but they have a Black Friday event, three-day event. It's on now. You can see on the top, when you go to the site, how many hours left you have. There's one day left of the sale. But it's not the whole site, it's only a few patterns. 15 to 30% off. So let's click on that to see what patterns they have. Because I might want to get any of some of these. So it says use code Black Friday 1, buy 1, get 15% off. Black Friday 2, buy 2, get 25% off. Black Friday 3, buy 3, or get 20 30% off. So I like this square neckline it's a type of bodycon dress that i'm a, always a fan of and i think there's something at the back with this one that is really nice okay so there's a lot of neckline options so many options in this uh, pattern emporium always has so many options in the pattern so you can choose whatever you want i think i would do the high squared just to make sure i'm not showing cleavage and look at the back so on the front it looks like a regular type of shoulder seam but then it goes off into a strap at the back like this back seam is always great for shaping so yeah look she has a youtube ch um, channel where she uploads videos and she makes about 20 of them i'm exaggerating but she makes so many to show all the versions and the fabric styles it's really inspiring to go and look at her videos when she's releasing a pattern so have a look at that but this is one that i'm definitely wanting to get on the sale 
Same as the Star Struck Side Tie Top. I think it's really cool because I believe this pattern is made just with one big pattern piece. It's just cut in a really, really interesting way. And then you tie it up on the sides. I think there's like maybe one or two seams in the whole pattern. Super nice. It looks like a really fun, easy to sew style. I think the only thing I would have to look at is that I like the wrong side of the fabric because you are going to see it there in the tie. Different types of scoop necklines. There's a center back seam. I think that is the only seam in the main body of it. So you don't have shoulder seams, you just have a back seam. And then you sew on your sleeve. It can be sleeveless, bishop sleeve, flutter sleeve, short sleeves, long sleeves. Yeah, all the sleeves. I really like that. I think that's really cute. Entice me fitted dress. Look, you know why I want to get this pattern? I really like it. I like a bodycon and it looks like a really simple style. It has a lot of options as well. It has a back waist seam, which I like. I think getting rid of sway back issues is really easy if you have a horizontal seam on the back of a bodice. But there is an add-on for this pattern that has ruching on the side. Definitely this is something I want to get. So there are my three patterns I want to get, getting those three in the sale right now. I do have an affiliate link with Pattern Emporium as well if you want to have a look at this sale. Okay, I'm getting really tired. My jaw is hurting from all the talking <laughs> and my battery is going to run out also. So we'll leave it at that. I've looked at all the brands I had in my list. I have all my cuts ready to go through the checkout process and they will all be in my files. I'm super happy. I wish I could have 10 of me to sew them up like real quick, but I will eventually get to them. Super excited. I know you don't need to buy as many patterns as I do. I just had a lot of fun and I've been waiting for this day for a pretty long time. <laughs> I'll see you again with more sewing. Have fun. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.